Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do a lesson 2.10 multiply two digit numbers with regrouping and our essential question is how can you use regrouping to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number okay so let's unlock the problem a thoroughbred racehorse can run at his speeds of up to 60 feet per second during practice Celia's horse runs at a speed of 36 feet per second how far does her horse run in three seconds okay here underline important information so the important information here is that Celia's horse runs at a speed of 36 feet per second and the question which is how far does your horse run in three seconds so these are important too so in one second here horse run 36 feet so in three seconds what will we do okay here he says is there information you will not use if so cross out the information okay so here we are speaking about Celia's horse okay so we don't need a thoroughbred race horse okay so we need only the information about Celia's horse okay so let's solve it so 36 feet in one second so in three seconds we should multiply 3 by 36 it's like 36 you added three times and repeated addition means multiplication so we will multiply 3 by 36 let's first estimate okay so 3 multiply and 36 let's round it to the nearest 10 so to the right of the 3 we have 6 which is a strong digit so the 3 will be 4 so it will be 40 so 3 times 40 if you remember guys we multiply 3 by 4 which is 12 and we write a 0 so it's 120 okay so now let's see how we will multiply 3 by 36 using regrouping so we write the 36 like this and the 3 down okay first step we will multiply the 3 by the ones which is the 6 so 3 times 6 is 18 so we write the 8 down and we carry up the 1 like an addition okay so again multiply the 3 by the ones 3 times 6 is 18 so we wrote the 8 and we carried up 1 okay now what is different from this and the addition is that the carry up we leave it until we multiply the 3 by the tens okay so we multiply 3 by the tens 3 times 3 which is 9 then plus the 1 so 9 plus 1 is 10 so again we multiply 3 by 6 which is 18 we wrote 8 down and 1 up the 1 up we keep it for now until we multiply the 3 by 3 so 3 times 3 is 9 plus the 1 is 10 so the answer here is 108 feet okay so Celia's racehorse runs 108 feet in three seconds okay so the 108 is close to the estimate which was 120 so the answer here is reasonable so since 108 is close to the estimate of 120 so the answer is reasonable okay example 2 multiply 8 by 22 let's first estimate so we will round the 22 to the nearest 10 to the right of the 2 we have 2 which is weak so we keep it 20 so 8 times 20 again you multiply 8 by 2 which is 16 and we write this 0 now let's multiply so we write the 22 up and the 8 down okay so first multiply 8 by the ones which is 2 8 times 2 is 16 so we write 6 down and 1 up don't add the 1 with the 2 okay multiply the 2 by 8 then add the 1 now 2 times 8 is 16 16 plus 1 is 17 so the answer here is 176 
okay and the 176 is close to the 160 the estimate so our answer is reasonable okay so 8 times 22 is 176 since the 176 is close to the estimate of 160 so it is reasonable now we multiply 7 by 68 dollars okay first let's estimate so we'll make it 7 times 68 let's round it to the nearest 10 to the right of the 6 we have 8 which is strong digit so the 6 will make it 7 so it will be 70 so 7 times 70 we we'll multiply first 7 times 7 which is 49 and we write the zero so 490 okay here let's multiply it using partial products okay using partial products we'll multiply 7 by 8 which is 56 then we multiply 7 by 60 okay so 7 times 60 we write the zero and 7 times 6 is 42 so 420 okay now let's add so 6 plus 0 is 6 5 plus 2 is 7 and we write the 4 okay let's multiply using regrouping okay so here we multiply 7 times 8 which is 56 so we write the 6 down and the 5 up now 6 times 7 is 42 6 times 7 is 42 then plus the 5 plus the carry up so we'll have 47 so we're right here 47 okay so you can guys put the 5 which they are the carry up you can put them in your hand and you multiply 6 by 7 42 and count after the 42 okay so you'll get 47 so the same answer here if you used the partial product or the regrouping okay here we have a question look at the partial products and the regrouping method above how are the partial products 420 and 56 related to the 476 okay so look at this and look at the product here the answer here okay we can notice that the 56 plus the 420 equal to 476 so we can say that 56 plus 420 equals 476 okay here share and show use the model to find the product so here is 2 times 36 so this is the 36 we made it two times okay so these are 10 20 30 40 50 60 so here we have 60 and here these are 6 plus 6 which they are 12 so 60 plus 12 is 72 let's see if we did it using regrouping okay so first we multiply 2 times 6 so 2 times 6 is 12 we write down 2 and 1 up this one don't add it now add it after you multiply 3 by 2 so 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7 okay here estimate then record the product so let's estimate first 42 times 40 okay let's round to the nearest 10 okay to the right of the 4 we have 2 which is weak so we keep it 40 times 4 so we can put the 0 out and 4 times 4 16 so 160 now let's multiply first 4 times the ones 4 times 2 is 8 then 4 times 4 which is 16 so the answer is 168 here let's estimate so let's round to the nearest 10 to the right of the 3 we have 2 which is weak so we keep it 30 times 2 we write that 0 and 2 times 3 is 6 so it's 60 let's multiply using regrouping 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 3 is 6 
here let's estimate so we're round to the nearest 10 to the right of the 8 we have 1 1 is weak digit so we give it 80 times 5 we put the 0 out and 5 times 8 is 40 so it's 400 let's multiply now 5 times 1 is 5 5 times 8 is 40 so the answer is 405 here 63 times 7 okay so to the right of the 6 we have 3 which is weak so we'll keep it 60 times 7 as always we will put the 0 out and multiply 6 times 7 which is 42 so 420 is the estimate now let's multiply there is 7 times 3 is 21 so we write down the 1 and carry up 2 now multiply the tens by 7 so 7 times 6 is 42 plus 2 is 44 so it's 441 dollars okay guys so as you can see here we multiply the ones and the tens by 7 by the number down and when we have a carry up don't add it until you multiply the tens okay hope you guys enjoyed this lesson have a nice day and goodbye